In this video, we shall discuss how to prepare departmental accounting when there is interdepartmental transfer and the goods are sent at selling price. I have already uploaded videos on preparing trading and profit and loss account and also interdepartmental transfer when goods are sent at cost price. The link I have given it in the description box. If you have not watched that video, do watch that video. Now let's move on to this video. This is the question that I have taken. Mrs. Mar Marudu and Sons have two departments, cloth and ready-made garment. Ready-made cloths are manufactured by the firm itself out of cloth supplied by the cloth department at its usual selling price. From the following figures, prepare departmental trading and profit and loss account for the year ending 31-12-91. So these are the details that are given. Opening stock, purchases, sales, Transfer to ready-made department. So, transfer to ready-made department. So, to ready-made department means ready-made department is the receiving department. This is the department which is receiving. So, which will be the sending department? Cloth department will be the sending department. So, cloth department is transferring to the ready-made department. As I have already explained you in my previous videos, the department which is sending the transfer, that department will be credited with the amount and the department which is receiving the transfer, that department will be debited with the amount of transfer. The sending department will be credited with the amount of transfer and the receiving department will be debited with the amount of transfer in the trading account. Okay. Then manufacturing expenses is given, closing stock is given. Then in the general information, general expenses incurred for both the department was 1,20,000. The stock in the ready-made department may be considered as consisting of 66 2 by 3 percentage cloth and 33 1 by 3 other expenses. The cloth department earned a profit at a rate of 18 percentage in the year 1990. Okay, with this information, we have to prepare Departmental trading and profit and loss account. This information that is transferred to ready-made department, this information tells you that is there is interdepartmental transfer. Okay, one department is transferring goods to the other, so there is interdepartmental transfer. And look into the second line of the question. It is given at given as at its usual selling price. Though, so, so the transfer is made at selling price. So this, this is a selling price problem. After identifying this as a selling price problem, then we will work out the answer. First, we will prepare the trading account. You all know in the trading account, debit side, the first entry that we will give is opening stock. So, to opening stock, look into the question for the cloth department, it is 360,000 and for the ready-made garment, it is 60,000. So, we are recording it. Then, we will record purchases to purchases. Look into the question, how much is the purchases? It is 29 lakh for cloth department and 20,000 for ready-made department. Okay, then sales is given. Sales, we will record it in the credit side. So, by sales, how much is the sales? For cloth, it is 35 lakhs and for ready-made garment, it is 7 lakhs. Okay. After recording sales, transfer to ready-made department is given. As I already told you, for the sending department, we will credit it. Which department is sending the goods? Cloth department is sending the goods. So, we are crediting it by interdepartmental transfer. Interdepartmental transfer. Which department is sending? Cloth. So, for cloth, we will Credit it with the amount of transfer. The amount of goods that is transferred is 4,50,000. In the other column, put a dash. In the same way, in the debit side, you write to interdepartmental transfer. Interdepartmental transfer. Ready-made garment is receiving. So, in the ready-made department, we will record it with the amount of transfer. The amount of goods that is transferred is 4,50,000. Okay, then manufacturing expenses. Manufacturing expenses, we will record it in the trading account only. So, to manufacturing expenses for cloth department, there is no manufacturing expenses. For the ready-made department, it is 
Okay. Then closing stock. Closing stock, we will record it in the credit side. So by closing stock, the amount is 1 lakh for cloth department and 48,000 for ready-made garments. Then tally your account and calculate the gross profit. So finding the total, the credit total is more. It is 4 lakh 5,000. Sorry, it is 40 lakhs 50,000 for cloth department and for ready made garment it is 7 lakh 48,000. So, writing the same total on the other side also. The differencing figure will be the gross profit. So, to gross profit carry down within bracket B dot F. The balancing figure is 7,90,000 for cloth department and 78,000 for ready made garment department. Bringing down the balancing figure to p and l account by gross profit brought down. The amount is 7,90,000 and 78,000. Okay. Okay. Having written the gross profit, we have to record the administrative expenses. Look into the question. General expenses is given. This general expenses will be recorded in the p and account. And it is given as a common expense. 1,20,000. We have to divide it between cloth and ready-made. Since no information regarding apportionment of expenses given, we are going to divide it on the basis of sales ratio. So, what is the sales for the cloth department? The sales for cloth department is 35 lakhs and the sales for ready-made garment is 7 lakhs. So, what will be the sales ratio? Cross out the common zeros. 35 is to 7. So, 5 is to 1. 7 5s are 35, 7 1s are 7. So 5 is to 1 is the sales ratio. Based on this ratio, we are going to apportion what? We are going to apportion the general expenses. So write it in the debit side. 2 general expenses 1,20,000 into 5 by 6. So for cloth department, how will we calculate? 1,20,000 into 5 divided by 6. The answer that we get is 1 lakh. Then for ready-made department 1 lakh 20,000 into 1 divided by 6. The answer that we get is 20,000. So we have recorded that. After recording this we have to tally the account and calculate net profit. So find the total. The credit total is more. 7 lakh 90,000 and 78,000. Write it on the debit side also. Now find the balancing figure. The balancing figure is nothing but the net profit. So, to net profit within bracket B dot F. So, the balancing figure will be 69,000. Sorry, 6,90,000. And for the other department, it is 58,000. So now we have calculated gross profit and net profit. So this, since this is an interdepartmental transfer at selling price, if it is a cost price problem, that's all. The problem is over. Since it is a selling price problem, we have to calculate stock reserve. For that reason, only this information, look into the question, this information is given for calculating the stock reserve details. Let's see how to calculate that. Okay, now let us prepare general profit and loss account. Why are we preparing general profit and loss account in this question? Because the goods are sent at selling price, we have to calculate stock reserve. So, we are preparing general profit and loss account. The first step in preparing general profit and loss account is we have to bring down the net profit by net profit. The net profit of uh, cloth department is 6,90,000 and the net profit of ready-made department is 58,000. 
if you add it the answer that you will get is 7,48,000 write it in the outer column then we have to calculate stock reserve the stock reserve on opening stock will be calculated in the credit side usually opening stock we will record it in the debit side opening stock reserve will be calculated in the credit side okay when you are calculating stock reserve which stock you should take should you take the stock of cloth department or ready-made department so you should take the stock of the receiving department the department which is receiving the goods in this problem ready-made department is receiving the goods so we will take the opening stock of ready-made department it is 60,000 so 60,000 into now look into this information given in this in this question this information is given to calculate stock reserve only what is told here is the stock in ready-made department may be considered as consisting of 66 2 by 3 percentage cloth that means out of the total stock of ready-made department what percentage of cloth department stock is included it is 2 by 3 okay so 60,000 divided by 2 by 3 into we have to multiply this with the profit ratio GP ratio look into the question the profit rate is 18 percentage in the year 1990. For which year we are preparing accounts? We are preparing accounts for the year 1991. Okay. So, we all know that the closing stock of 1990 will be the opening stock for the year 1991. So, the closing stock of 1990 is only the opening stock of 1991. So, we should take the profit percentage of the previous year for current year's opening stock. For current year's opening stock, we should take the profit percentage of previous year. It is 18 percentage as given in the question. So, into 18 by 100, the answer that we will get is 7200. Okay. Now, let us calculate the stock reserve on closing stock. To stock reserve on closing stock. How to calculate this? We have to take the closing stock of the receiving department. I already told you. We have to take the closing stock of the receiving department. So, the closing stock of the receiving department is 48,000 into 2 by 3. The percentage that is given in the question multiplied by profit ratio. For the opening stock, we took the profit ratio of the year 1990. But for closing stock, we have to take the profit ratio for the year 1991. We don't have the profit ratio for the year 1991. So, we have to calculate it. So, for the year 1991, how to calculate profit ratio? Gross profit divided by sales into 100. This is the formula we have to calculate. So, when you are taking gross profit, which gross profit you should take? Should you take the cloth department profit or should you take the ready-made department profit? When you are taking profit, remember you have to take the profit of the sending department. When you are calculating GP ratio, take the details of the sending department. Which is the department that is sending goods here? It is cloth department. So, the gross profit that we calculated in the previous slide for the sending department is 7,90,000. This we have already calculated. 7,90,000 is the gross profit divided by sales. Look into the question, what is the sales of the cloth department? 35 lakhs it has sold to outsiders and it has sold 4,50,000 to the ready-made department. So, total sales is 35 lakhs plus 4,50,000 into 100. The answer that you will get is 20 percentage. So, the GP ratio for the year 1991 is 20 percentage. So, in the ledger account, you multiply it by 20 percentage. The answer that you will get is 6400. Tally your account and calculate the balancing figure. The credit total is more. It is 755200 The balancing figure that you will get is 7,48,800. This is your balancing figure. This will be your profit to profit within bracket B dot F. 
So I hope you understood how to calculate when goods are sold at selling price. The very important portion is calculation of stock reserve. You have to be clear with two things. Opening stock reserve will be calculated in the credit side. Closing stock reserve will be calculated in the debit side, opposite side. And when you are taking stock, you should take the stock of the receiving department. When you are taking the GP ratio, you have to take the GP ratio of sending department. If you do this correctly, your problem will not go wrong. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.